In the annals of human history, few moments shine as brightly as the Apollo 11 mission, a daring voyage that brought mankind to the moon's doorstep. But what if we told you that behind the triumphant headlines and iconic images lies a fabric of secrets, mysteries, and untold stories that will change the way you perceive this historic event? Join us on an odyssey of discovery as we unveil 20 riveting secrets that have remained hidden in the shadow of history. Secrets that challenge our understanding of what truly transpired on that fateful day. Number 20. The Saturn V. After 10 years of hard work, the Saturn V was ready for its mission. This huge rocket was over 100 meters tall and had been prepared carefully. With its tanks full of fuel, it weighed as much as 400 elephants. It had five powerful F-1 engines in the middle, each burning three tons of fuel every second. These engines worked together to lift the rocket off the ground. In two and a half minutes, they made an incredible 160 million horsepower and 7.5 million pounds of thrust. Even now, the Saturn V is the strongest rocket ever made. The four outer engines did two jobs. They moved the rocket and kept it on the right path. The rocket had different engines for each stage, made for different air conditions. The first stage's engines worked best in thick air near Earth. The second stage's engines were higher up. The third stage was for space. As the rocket used up stages and got lighter, it needed less fuel. Safety was important too. The astronauts sat in a small capsule on top, called the Command Module. It had an escape tower to save them if there was a problem. On July 16th, the world saw the amazing sight of a heavy rocket going into space. The Saturn V is not just a cool machine, it's proof of what humans can do. Even now, it's the most powerful rocket we've ever built. Number 19. Enthralling glimpse of Earth from 175,000 miles. During the 55th hour and 10 minutes of the Apollo 11 mission, the control center erupted with enthusiasm as the network controller's voice crackled through the speakers, announcing the reception of a live television feed. The screens displayed an astonishingly sharp image from 175,000 miles away, depicting Earth. Positioned about 48,000 miles from the moon, the spacecraft afforded a captivating view of our planet against the backdrop of space. The crew, comfortably stationed within their vessel, gazed out of a window at the mesmerizing sight. Amid their wonder, a light-hearted exchange took place. Amid laughter, a voice playfully remarked that they were indeed in a predicament if the view wasn't Earth. This banter highlighted the camaraderie among the astronauts, showcasing the cozy environment they had established in their confined quarters. Despite the challenges of space travel, they managed to create personal spaces to avoid collisions. The spacecraft's interior was described. Floating coffee cups and breakfast items, colorful beverages, and the need for adjustments such as using a flashlight in dark corners. Even in microgravity, gently releasing objects required careful handling. On day four, at the 75th hour and 26th minutes, Apollo Control reported that the spacecraft was 966 miles from the moon, hurtling at 6,511 feet per second. The chosen landing site, the Sea of Tranquility, offered a serene expanse. As the spacecraft disappeared behind the moon's far side, communication briefly ceased, but a captivating image followed. The screens displayed the lunar surface, a rugged, majestic landscape against the void of space. Void. Number 18. Navigating the Final Descent with the lunar module detached from the command module, Michael Collins remained in orbit while the trio of astronauts initiated a tense descent to the lunar surface. Despite potential complications, meticulous preparation enabled them to tackle challenges. Midway, an unexpected alarm, a 1212 program alarm, disrupted their journey due to a malfunctioning radar unit, prompting the guidance computer to reboot for stability. The astronauts and mission control collaborated efficiently, with Houston confirming acceptance of the alarm. Confidence grew as the control center permitted landing. However, new hurdles emerged during the descent. Armstrong piloted the module toward a hazardous terrain, relying on his vision and Aldrin's data. 
Taking manual control, Armstrong employed 16 thrusters to ensure a safe touchdown, knowing the risk of failure was dire. Voices counted down the dwindling distance. Armstrong's precise adjustments led to stability just above the surface, successfully avoiding disaster. As they approached their destination, Armstrong fine-tuned their course, guided by Aldrin's instructions. The tension in the cabin was palpable as they neared the climax of their descent. With unwavering determination, Armstrong skillfully landed the lunar module on the moon's surface, etching a monumental moment in history. Number 17. Powdery Footprints As the lunar module approached the moon's surface, a gentle tremor passed through the craft upon contact with the landing struts. The command came quietly. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. This signal led the successful final descent stage with precise control through manual interventions. Amid the quiet aftermath, a pivotal exchange unfolded. We copy you down, Eagle, echoed from Mission Control, acknowledging the landing. From the lunar surface, the weighty response arrived. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. This moment carried the weight of human ingenuity and years of effort. Responding to the landing, Mission Control's heartfelt acknowledgement came. Roger, Tranquility. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Blending relief and exultation. Remarkably, the Eagle landed with only about 15 seconds of fuel left. Armstrong and Aldrin exchanged smiles and a firm handshake, their achievement profound yet solitary. Then, a historic message spread, We're getting a picture on the TV. Hours later, Armstrong emerged, standing on the moon's surface. Buzz Aldrin captured this moment, the camera transmitting images to around 600 million people. Armstrong's voice resonated, describing the surface. The surface is fine and powdery. He took his historic steps, uttering, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. In those words, human achievement transcended boundaries. Armstrong's description continued, the surface is fine and powdery, adhering in fine layers. In a few words and a bold step, Armstrong and Aldrin left their mark. The moon, once a distant dream, became a reality. Humanity achieved the unthinkable, leaving an indelible cosmic mark. Number 16. The Iconic Moonwalk Everyone still vividly recalls the powerful words Neil Armstrong uttered as he embarked on his historic moonwalk. As he took his initial steps on the lunar surface, he famously stated, That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This iconic phrase resonated deeply due to the extraordinary circumstances and the immense scale of the moment. Buzz Aldrin followed Armstrong onto the moon, and together, these valiant astronaut pioneers explored the uncharted lunar landscape. However, it's worth noting that Collins, the third member of the team, remained aboard the command module orbiting the moon. He played a crucial role, despite not being able to partake in the moonwalk itself. The moon has captivated human fascination for eons. Well before the advent of sophisticated telescopes and advanced gadgets, our ancestors dedicated themselves to studying this celestial wonder. With limited tools, they meticulously observed the moon's changing phases, meticulously measured the duration of lunar eclipses, and wove an intricate tapestry of myths and legends around it. They even recognized the moon's influence over tides and its impact on shaping calendars. Intriguingly, some ancient beliefs even linked the moon to its potential effects on mental well-being. Number 15. In-Flight TV Broadcasts The live television broadcasts from the Apollo 11 mission were more than just a technological feat. They symbolized a transformative moment in human history. As the world gathered around television sets, the unprecedented images beamed from space mesmerizing and uniting people across continents. This technological spectacle wasn't just about watching a historic event. It was about witnessing a shared dream becoming reality. The in-flight TV broadcasts transcended national boundaries and political affiliations, uniting humanity in awe and wonder. People from different cultures and backgrounds found common ground in their fascination with space exploration, leaving behind terrestrial concerns for a brief moment. The grainy yet captivating images of astronauts floating in microgravity and the stark lunar landscape evoked a profound sense of humility and curiosity about the universe. These broadcasts fostered a sense of connectedness among people who were otherwise separated by geographical distances and ideological differences. 
They allowed individuals to witness firsthand the courage, dedication, and innovation of the human spirit. The moon landing was no longer an American achievement. It belonged to all of humanity, an emblem of what we can accomplish when we set our minds and resources to a common goal. In a world often marked by discord and division, the Apollo 11 broadcasts serve as a reminder of our shared aspirations and potential. They underscore the power of technology to amplify human experiences and emotions, ignite a collective sense of wonder, and remind us that, as inhabitants of a tiny blue planet, we are all in this together. Number 14. Lunar Exploration the Apollo program involved various stages of progress and assessment, including suborbital and orbital flights, intricate manoeuvres like rendezvous and docking, simulations of lunar activities, and extravehicular tasks. After achieving lunar orbit, Armstrong and Aldrin performed a daring separation from Collins, who remained in the command module. The lunar module Eagle gently left him behind, embarking on lunar exploration. At 2.56 a.m. GMT, Armstrong set foot on the moon, becoming a true pioneer. With deliberate steps, he left humanity's first mark on lunar soil. Aldrin followed, his silhouette symbolizing human endeavor against the cosmos. For the following hours, Armstrong and Aldrin collected samples and conducted experiments, expanding our cosmic knowledge. The moon, once a dream, turned into a realm of scientific curiosity. They planted the American flag, a sign of national pride and human collaboration. Their lunar tasks completed, they rejoined Collins, commencing the homeward journey with lunar rocks and humanity's aspirations. Number 13. Ascending to Columbia. Upon completing their lunar exploration, the ascent stage of the lunar module Eagle conducted a vital rendezvous with Collins in the command module Columbia. This pivotal reconnection marked the turning point for the journey back home, setting the stage for a triumphant return. After eight days and three hours of their celestial journey, Apollo 11 re-entered Earth's atmosphere and landed in the Pacific Ocean. The mission's success was a testament to the dedication of the astronauts and the many contributors to the Apollo program. President John F. Kennedy's vision of sending a man to the moon and returning safely had been achieved. The astronauts' journey didn't end immediately upon landing. As a precaution, they underwent a three-week quarantine to ensure no harmful lunar pathogens had been brought back to Earth. Emerging from isolation, they were welcomed with a ticker tape parade in New York City, demonstrating the profound impact of their journey. Apollo's legacy extended beyond its triumph, inspiring generations and paving the way for technological advancements. The missions birthed innovations that led to modern devices like computers, software, and smartphones. The mission's collaborative effort is symbolized by the Little Emu, representing the dedication of those who crafted the spacecraft. The astronauts expressed gratitude to all who made the journey possible, echoing the collective aspirations behind Apollo 11's success. The broadcast concluded with the heartfelt message, God bless you, good night from Apollo 11 encapsulating humanity's insatiable curiosity and pursuit of the stars. The legacy of Apollo endures as a beacon of human exploration. Number 12. Unsung Hero of Apollo 11 Amidst the vast expanse of space, while Armstrong and Aldrin embarked on their moon exploration, Colin remained stationed as the pilot of the lunar module. Colin's role was intricate, overseeing the delicate procedure of docking. This procedure involved ensuring the successful detachment of the Eagle, which carried Armstrong and Aldrin. Any error during this phase could have jeopardized the entire mission. After the lunar module departed for the moon's surface, Collins found himself alone in the Columbia spacecraft. This phase is often considered one of profound isolation for him, although this perception is not entirely accurate. During these moments, Colin had a multitude of tasks on his plate, his responsibilities included monitoring systems, maintaining communication with mission control, and preparing for crucial rendezvous and docking procedures with the lunar module. This was particularly significant after the module's return from the lunar surface. In essence, without Collins's contributions, the mission's success would not have been as seamless. The rendezvous and docking process was especially challenging, demanding precise calculations and meticulous execution. 
The potential pitfalls were numerous, and even a slight miscalculation could have led to the separation of the Lunar Module from the Command Module, endangering the mission's integrity. He also took on the responsibility of ensuring the Command Module's continued functionality, given that it was the sole means of transportation back to Earth. The meticulous maintenance of the Command Module's systems, encompassing life support, communication, and propulsion, was of paramount importance. It's important to note that his role extended beyond the mechanical tasks previously described. He served as the primary communication link between the crew and mission control on Earth. While Armstrong and Aldrin explored the lunar surface in the rover, Collins facilitated the real-time transmission of photographs and lunar observations, providing invaluable insights into the moon's composition. Number 11. Collins' Psychological Odyssey in Space one facet of Collins's responsibilities stood out significantly from those we've previously mentioned. It is known to have had a profound psychological impact on him. Acting as the intermediary between the lunar crew and mission control back on Earth, he was acutely aware that in the event of any mishap during the mission, he would be required to make the journey back to Earth on his own. He fulfilled his duties with exceptional poise and self-possession, undeterred by the fact that he would not partake in the lunar surface exploration alongside his colleagues. He maintained his composure and focus, ensuring that mission-critical information flowed promptly and consistently to mission control on Earth. His steadfast commitment to his responsibilities is laudable. Throughout this entire endeavor, all tasks were executed with precision and success, culminating in the triumphant accomplishment of the Apollo 11 mission. He played a crucial role in the Apollo 11 mission. He was responsible for a vital man-erv known as the Trans-Earth Injection. This man-erv involves using the spacecraft's engines to exit lunar orbit and set a course back to Earth. His exceptional technical skills and precision were essential for the successful execution of this man oeuvre His contribution was fundamental, like the backbone of the entire mission. He exemplified true teamwork and camaraderie, embodying the spirit of togetherness and humanity. Despite being physically distant from his crew and assuming a more behind-the-scenes position, Collins's role was indispensable. His dedication highlights the collaborative and collective effort that defined the Apollo 11 mission from its inception until the safe return of the crew to Earth. At number 10, The Loneliest Journey. There is discussion surrounding the considerable period of isolation Colin experienced aboard the spaceship. This extended duration may have had a noteworthy impact on his psychological well-being. It's certain that the mission left a profound impression on him. However, what revelations did he attain about both him and the broader human experience? During his solitary moments on the spacecraft, he contemplated various matters. While the lunar module, transporting his fellow crew members, disconnected from the ship to land on the moon's surface, he remained aboard to lead the vessel. As previously covered on the command module, he stayed in orbit around the moon, separated from its surface. He spent a total of 21 hours in lunar orbit. In each orbit, 48 minutes were dedicated to radio silence. During this time, there was no communication from his colleagues on the moon's surface or any messages from mission control back on Earth. He found himself in the dark, airless expanse, alone and surrounded by silence. Such profound solitude offered ample opportunity for contemplation. Positioned on the far side of the moon, disconnected from colleagues and mission control, Collins became arguably the most isolated individual in history. The repetitive cycle saw him on numerous occasions rotating in this isolated void. This exceptional solitude would undoubtedly prompt deep introspection and rumination on various aspects of existence. Number 9. Unveiling Solitary Secrets while most individuals might have reacted with intense agitation due to the absence of communication, Collins portrays his experience as one of tranquil seclusion rather than a profound sense of isolation. He found himself cut off from all contact while positioned on the far side of the moon during each orbit. This disconnection stemmed from the moon's radio-interfering properties on that particular side. The far side of the moon emits electromagnetic waves, a form of radiation capable of traversing space, However, these waves can also be absorbed by celestial bodies situated in their path. As he circled behind the moon, 
he existed entirely unaware of terrestrial transmitters, receivers, or the ability to communicate with his colleagues at Mission Control or anyone on Earth. This circumstance was particularly unique for him, who became the initial person to venture toward the moon's far side. Although he only orbited and did not set foot on this hidden facet of the moon, he still secured the distinction of being the first individual to glimpse its enigmatic features while completely solitary. In contrast, the Apollo 8 mission saw its crew collectively orbiting the moon, remaining within the confines of their spacecraft. This camaraderie allowed the crew members to share the experience of radio silence together. One can only speculate about the nature of the conversations that unfolded among the men while entirely disconnected from conventional communication channels. Number 8. Moon's Far Side Collins had to exercise patience until he reached the moon's vicinity, which is oriented toward Earth in order to establish any form of communication. It's worth noting that not only is the far side of the moon silent in terms of radio signals, but it possesses a quality of radio quietness. This implies that it remains unaffected by radio frequencies or disturbances originating from human activities. This unique attribute of the moon's far side, akin to noise cancellation, renders it an ideal locale for radio astronomy. This distinction allows for the detection of faint signals from sources like the sun or other distant locations without the intrusion of human-generated disruptions. However, the same cannot be affirmed for the near side of the moon, which incidentally faces Earth. The near side contends with considerable radio interference from Earth to the extent that attempting to gather readings for signals from the sun or elsewhere would be rendered futile. Or would be Number 7. Gravitational Equilibrium and Lunar Connection the far side of the moon, in addition, lacks a significant ionosphere. The ionosphere refers to a layer in our upper atmosphere that contains charged particles capable of absorbing or reflecting cosmic radio signals. This absence of radioactivity and prevailing tranquility has captured the attention of multiple astronomers. In 2019, China's Chang'e 4th mission marked a historic milestone by successfully landing a rover on the moon's far side. The rover touched down within the von Karman crater, nestled within the South Pole Aitken Basin on the moon's far side. Among the objectives of the Chang'e 4th mission was the execution of low-frequency radio astronomical observations. This was achieved using a compact antenna deployed by the lunar rover. The operational dynamics of the lunar rover rely on a relay satellite that orbits the Earth-Moon L2 Lagrangian point. This point, known as L2, is where gravitational forces find equilibrium. This balance enables seamless communication between the rover, the lander, and Earth. Number 6. Astronaut Food Amid humanity's mission to reach the moon, Apollo 11 brought pioneering technology, exploration, and a novel perspective on a fundamental aspect. Astronaut Food in the pursuit of a giant leap for mankind, Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Collins, Apollo 11's crew, showcased the blend of science, engineering, and human experience through their food choices. Adapted to space travel's demands, their meals, including beef stew and freeze-dried options, sustained them with minimal weight and maximum nutrition. This concept of dehydrated, compact nourishment marked a culinary revolution. Beyond survival, these meals represented human adaptability and progress. Crafting space sustenance laid the foundation for future missions and influenced terrestrial dining trends. The legacy of astronaut nutrition resonates in today's convenience foods and culinary practices. Apollo 11's seemingly ordinary astronaut food amidst their lunar voyage encapsulated the exploration spirit and the bravery in facing the unknown. It underscored how basic needs continue to steer human progress, even amid unprecedented frontiers. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. One special picture reminds us of the mysteries in space. It's from Apollo 11, a famous mission. Collins, a brave astronaut, is in the picture. He's not on the front of the moon that we usually see. He's on the hidden side, a place we didn't know much about. But it's not just where he is that's interesting, it's his surprised face. This makes us wonder what he saw. Did strange shadows make him confused? Or did he find something odd there? This picture makes us ask exciting questions about space. Does it show secrets the hidden moonside has? Maybe we still don't really understand it, even with our space journeys. 
Did he experience something really strange there? This could change what we know. Or maybe it's part of a bigger space story we can't explain. This moment with him makes us think about space's mysteries. This picture is more than just history. It's like a door to new places we want to explore. It tells us that even with science, space still has things we don't know. What did he see on that unknown land? Let's have your thoughts in the comments below. Number 5. Beyond Communication The far side of the moon is a captivating and mysterious region that offers unique opportunities for exploration, despite its communication challenges. Collins was the first to experience the profound solitude of the moon's far side. These moments brought him deep tranquility as he floated in space, observing Earth from an extraordinary viewpoint. The surrounding silence allowed him to perceive things differently and appreciate Earth's beauty. He pondered his place in the universe while ensuring the success of the Apollo 11 mission. He meticulously coordinated docking procedures with his crew, preparing for the upcoming rendezvous. These quiet instances offered a break from the usual bustle of space missions. As he orbited the moon, he witnessed a rare sight. The moon's far side, with its rugged, crater-filled landscape hidden from Earth's view. Seeing Earth rise over the lunar horizon filled him with wonder. This experience left a lasting impression, offering a unique and tender perspective. Number 4. The Cosmic Dichotomy Collins experienced the overview effect when observing Earth from space. The sight of our planet as a small, interconnected blue dot in the vast cosmos transformed his perspective. This realization led to a profound sense of Earth's fragility and the need to protect it. He emerged as an advocate for environmental conservation, urging responsible treatment of our planet to maintain its delicate balance. The solitude of space prompted him to contemplate existential questions, reshaping his beliefs. His autobiography, Carrying the Fire, reflects on the universe's meaning and humanity's role within it. This journey led him to embrace a more ordered universe over random chaos, deepening his spiritual perspective. Despite his isolation in space, he found purpose in exploring the beauty of the cosmos and reflecting on fundamental questions about our existence and the safeguarding of Earth. These timeless inquiries have intrigued humanity for centuries, shaping our understanding of our place in the universe. Thank you for joining us for this episode of Voyager. For more captivating content, please click the video on your screen. Number 3. Collecting Moon Dust and Unveiling the Plaque Upon setting foot on the lunar surface, Armstrong swiftly collected moon dust samples with foresight for potential emergencies. These samples held significance as tangible proof of their expedition's success. Armstrong's adeptness highlighted the mission's preparedness. He informed Mission Control about his intention to gather rocks as contingency samples. The moon's uncharted expanse prompted Armstrong's purposeful quest for a sample symbolizing the mission's triumph. Around 15 minutes later, Buzz Aldrin joined Armstrong on the moon, mirroring his methodical approach. Aldrin secured the lunar module hatch while descending. This meticulous coordination characterized the mission, even during exploratory moments. Aldrin aptly summarized the moon's captivating yet barren allure as magnificent desolation. Together, the astronauts reached the lunar module's base, discovering a poignant plaque representing Earth inscribed with a message of peace. This encapsulated the mission's essence and humanity's shared aspirations. The iconic image of the American flag, affixed to wires to remain upright in the moon's atmosphere, symbolized the collective achievements of the United States. Mission Control's request for the astronauts to appear on camera captured the world's anticipation of these pioneers etching their names in history. Beyond lunar exploration, they united the human spirit in an unparalleled endeavor, transcending boundaries. Number 2. A Pinnacle of Exploration On the vast lunar expanse, Apollo 11's significance echoed through meticulous experiments and groundbreaking activities. Astronauts delved into pioneering studies, all for scientific advancement. A focus was the enigmatic solar wind, a cosmic phenomenon. Armstrong, Aldrin, and the team executed experiments, capturing data to illuminate its intricacies. They positioned equipment to relay findings to expand our universe's understanding. Armstrong, embodying humanity's aspirations, became the first to tread the moon. His step inscribed his name in history, a symbol of audacity. Buzz Aldrin gained his form of immortality. 
Neil emerged first, making Aldrin at the forefront of lunar photographs, bestowing a distinctive place in the exploration's narrative. Their 21-hour lunar sojourn with two hours and 15 minutes of moonwalking carved an indelible trail in moon dust. With each step, humanity is pushed into the unknown. Returning, they carried 20 kilograms of lunar rocks, re-entering the Eagle module. Repressurization and helmet removal marked a transition. Aldrin captured Armstrong, eyes glistening triumphant smile, a snapshot of humanity's zenith, embodying unwavering resolve and curiosity. In those seconds, their achievement lingered, a testament to the human spirit, curiosity, and tenacity. The insurmountable journey conquered. The world watched as the ultimate goal was achieved. They just accomplished the most difficult task in the history of the world. Number 1. The Return On the unforgettable day of July 24, 1969, a triumphant trio of astronauts made a dramatic splashdown into the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean. This marked the triumphant culmination of a historic mission that had captivated the world's attention. The courageous spacemen were met with exuberant fanfare as they emerged from their spacecraft, symbolizing not only their bravery, but also the unyielding spirit of the entire human race. These intrepid astronauts embodied audacity and determination, showcasing the indomitable will that defines humanity. Against all odds, they achieved what was once thought to be impossible. Their remarkable achievement wasn't just a fleeting moment. It echoed through the annals of time, fulfilling the dreams that had been nurtured across centuries. In accomplishing this unprecedented feat, they lit a cosmic torch of inspiration, illuminating the way for future generations of explorers. By pushing the boundaries of space travel, these pioneers opened the door to new realms of possibility. Their daring journey set a resounding precedent, an invitation for mankind to continue venturing into the great unknown. And so, as the astronauts gazed at the endless horizon of the ocean, they weren't merely basking in the triumph of their mission. They were gifting humanity a legacy, an eternal reminder that audacious dreams when fueled by unwavering determination can propel us to achieve the unimaginable. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.